So I'm going to share very briefly, very briefly, on the topic, what defines you? Or what will define you in 2018? Now Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. First Chronicles 4, 9 to 10. Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. And his mother called his name Jabez, saying, because I bore him in pain. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you will bless me indeed, and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me, and that you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. So God granted him what he requested. I know that many of us, before we have our babies, and I know that also in the Bible we see many places, where before the baby comes, the parents know something about what's going to happen to that baby, who that baby is going to be. I attended a naming ceremony recently from one of the members here, and they named their baby Joshua. And the parents said that God ministered to them while they were still pregnant for that baby, that that baby was going to be strong and that baby was going to be mighty. And because of that, they named that baby Joshua when the baby came. Now, in the case of Jabez, I believe that it was a similar thing. Because before the matter of he was born in pain arose, there was the matter of Jabez being more honorable than his brothers. So I believe that before he was even born, the parents knew that this child that we're giving birth to is going to be more, is going to be more honorable than all his brothers. He's going to be the most honorable of all our children. But something happened during childbirth. The mother, the mother almost died. There was pain. There was almost sorrow. And so the mother forgot about that positive part of this child. That this child is supposed to be more honorable than his brothers. And the mother chose to name this baby the negative name. The meaning of Jabez means that he causes sorrow. He causes pain. God forbid. I remember, I mean, my, I was told, I, was, I, didn't, I can't remember when I was born. I was almost saying I remember when I was born, that my mom almost died. I don't remember that, but I was told that when I was born, my mom almost died. But I thank God that they did not give me a, an evil name. Rather, they gave me the name God delivered us, worthy, and so many beautiful names with beautiful meanings. But in the case of the mother of Jabez, she decided to name Jabez, he causes pain and he causes sorrow. Tonight we're talking about what defines you or what would define you in 2018. We see that in our lives, there are so many positive things, strengths, great things happening in our lives. But many times it is only that one weak thing that defines us many times. Or that we allow other people to use to define us. You are a smart woman. You are so intelligent. You have a pretty face. You are very prayerful. You are very friendly. You speak very well. But you are overweight. Okay. So the overweight is now what defines your life. Have we not seen that happening? Yes, and now you don't feel confident in yourself. All the speaking that you have the power to do, you don't even do because you are bogged down and overshadowed with that one single weakness that you have. That was what the mother of Jabez did. The strength of Jabez, for him to be more honorable than all his brothers, for him to be blessed indeed, for him to have an enlarged territory, for the hand of God to be upon him, she did not give him any any of those names, but rather that weak point, that weakness. Sometimes it is other people that we allow to define us. Sometimes we ourselves, we define ourselves by those things. You are wonderful. You have so many gifts of the Spirit. When you pray, things happen. But you have a problematic husband. You have a troubled marriage. But you allow that your troubled marriage or problematic husband to be what your life is surrounded, what the center of focus of your life. That ought not to be. That was what happened in the case of Jabez. But thank God, Jabez realized what the enemy was up to. 
and he refused and said, no, my life is not going to be defined by that little weak point in my life. My life is not going to be de defined by that little problem or even big problem in my life. Because there are so many wonderful, great, wonderful things that are other things that are happening in my life. And that is what is going to, de be, to define my life. And so Jabez cried unto God and prayed unto God. Tonight we are going to pray unto God. In 2018, let's make up our minds. Don't allow that problem, that sickness, don't let it be the center of focus of your life. There are many people who are disabled, who are sick, but they achieve so much more than people who are not sick. Do you know that? It is because they chose what defines them. Some people chose their strengths to define them, while some people chose that weakness to be the, the, the defining factor of their lives. Jabez prayed to God. He said, oh God, that you will bless me indeed. That you will enlarge my territory. That your hand would be with me. And that you would keep me from evil that I may not cause pain. The meaning of that name is that he causes pain. If you see even the trend of his prayers, he was so focused on the strength that he's going to be an honorable person that he started praying. You see the prayer. The, weak, the weakness was even the last thing he mentioned. He still prayed about it because whatever that weakness is, God is able to perfect his strength in it. Whatever that problem is, God is able to solve it. But we should not allow it to define us and we should not make it the focus of our lives. He still mentioned that he will not cause pain. But he first of all focused on the purpose that God created him for. To be more honorable than his brothers. To be blessed indeed. To have an enlarged territory. 